Hello guys, it's Ina still from Sweden and today we have Sofran milk caps or in Swedish Blåderiska and in Latin it is Lactarius Deliciousus. So these are the beautiful tiny orangish mushrooms and if you let me find which one okay if you cut the leg you will see the orange circle appearing immediately like a little bit of a blood <laughs> so this is it means that it's a real saffron milk cap and when they're big they might get a little bit greenish inside uh, or when you forage them uh, after a while their legs also can become a little bit greenish it is normal it is good so today we're going to cook these but first let's wash them so at first I'm going to cut the bottoms of the stems of the legs just to get off uh, the roots and the soil and after we're going to wash them. Look beautiful. I'll take away this leaf. So you can uh, chop mushrooms in just random order, doesn't matter, but just uh, be careful because uh, use like not a new cutting board because you can see they're like orange juice slash milk has already been all over here and later it will be very uh, maybe difficult to clean up everything. So just don't use your white cutting boards, that's it. And chop as you like to any size of your like to any preference you can make them uh, look really nice and fancy uniform size you can chop them like champignons or just any any shape and meanwhile the pan has been heating so far on maximum okay the pan is hot so let's use uh, any vegetable oil in my case it's wraps oil just because it's popular in sweden but you can use anything else whatever you want As you can see, I moved the mushrooms away uh, on the side. They are almost done, but not completely. I set the hot water uh, basically on the fire because I have some Finnish dumplings with soft cheese and potato filling. Basically, they are like Russian dumplings, but uh, there is nothing Russian has been sold here. This is the Finnish stuff. So by themselves, they are tasteless. So I'm going to boil them and after I'm going to fry them together with the saffron milk cup. And at that time, we're going to add our butter and pepper. And it will be really, really delicious. And here are my chanterelles. If you guys thought that Russians are some kind of extreme nation, no. Russian, Finnish and Swedish cuisine is quite similar, consists of simple ingredients. Um, basically, it is root vegetables like potatoes, meat, mushrooms and fish. Like in Sweden, fish is a big thing, especially herring, but in Russia we also eat fish and in fin Finland also people eat fish. That's why uh, it's not very difficult for Russian Finno Swede to adapt to a local cuisine like wherever you travel in one of these three countries. So 
so when they would float they would be ready okay so the dumplings are ready so we're going to cut each in three parts so they are still hot you can cool them down in the cold water if you want to make it a little bit easier to handle to touch so like this we add more one two and meanwhile we can put our uh, mushrooms on the fire So it's uh, time to add some pepper of your choice mushrooms are ready and uh, dumplings are also ready look at their color they are kind of fried nice crispy exactly what i like i mean obviously you can uh, fry the whole dumplings but in my opinion they will be still dry and not as delicious and now they will soak all of the flavors from the mushroom Okay, so it's time to try the food. Let's start just with the mushroom first. So you can see it's still orangish and greenish and inside the cup it's uh, still orangish and <laughs> slightly brownish. Mm. Hmm. It is very delicious. It actually tastes almost like chicken. Uh, quite dry texture, like dry white meat. So it's really good. Let's try, oops, together with the dumpling. Dumpling also, like, see, kind of crispy, nice. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is like the elevation of typical regular dumpling. This is really delicious. And with a little bit of onion, oh, it is delicious. Really good. Guys, please like follow subscribe comment uh it will make me so happy and uh, let's uh, meet up next again in the next episode where when and where why i'm going to make um, a new dish from chanterelles it's going to be cream soup so see you soon bye bye mm. delicious